Welcome to another tutorial episode. My name is William. In this episode, I want us to talk about how to show and hide the password instead of having password confirm in our Livewire application. So let us go ahead and work on that. I have a basic form here. And here in the password field, we have an input group whereby we have part of it as an input. And on this other side, we have a button. So I want us to go ahead and see how we can be able to implement this. Currently, the type here is set to password. If I type something, you can see it's not visible. But if I change the type to text, this is the form that we are seeing in the in the in the uh, browser there. So if we are to change this type for the input type password, and we are to change it to text. Now, if I go back and refresh, it is possible for us to be able to see what we type. So basically what we'll be doing, we'll be playing around between hiding, changing from password to text and text to password. That is what we are going to do. And you're going to use purely Livewire. So the first thing I want us to do here, I want to change this and I want to change it to a variable called type that way. Then after that, I want us to, on this button here, if we click this button, I want us to change, uh, to have, to handle a click and then be able to do something on the back end. So I'm going to have wire click and what we are going to have is a method called toggle password. So that is the method that will be called once we click the button at the end. So I want to copy this and go to our login uh, component, the Livewire class. And in here, we are going to create type. So you can see we have email and we have password. So I want to add one more. We're going to have public type. And initially, we can set it to password then we can change it to text and set it to password again. And here I want us to have the method. So we're going to have public function toggle password. And what I'm going to have here, I'm just going to say if the value of the password, so the, the value of type. So if this type, its value is um, password, then we can change and set it to text. So we can say this type is a text. And then we can say else, because we only have two options. Then if this first option is not satisfied, then we can set the value to password. I think that is okay. So we can set this to password like that. So we are changing this value type here when we click the button. And now I want us to try and see what happens. So already I have something typed in. I'm going to type my name here, probably as a password. If I click this button, now you can see it's being displayed. If I click this button, it is being hidden like that. Basically, that is how you can be able to implement this. I would like to do just a little bit more and be able to have the icons that will be able to be displayed. So in this case, I want us to go to getbootstrap.com and check the icons. And what I want in the icons is the eye icon. So we are going to scroll downwards and just search for eye. And obviously, already we have this one. So we have this one and this one. I think I can pick this one here, or maybe this one looks nice. And I'm just going to use SVG. I'm not going to install uh, the Bootstrap icons uh, CDN link or through NPM. I'll just use these links. So I'm going to go back to our Blade file. And what I want us to do is um, inside the login.blade, I want us to, as we click the password, I want us to inside the button display the two icons. So the first one we can say if uh, the type, so in this case type, 
that property is equivalent to text then we can be able to set whatever it is that I have copied here so we can have that SVG being displayed then we can have else else um, maybe we can have else if because we are using it in blade we have at if and then at else we can just have it like that so at else maybe we can be able to have the other one and then we can end the if and if at end if like that so let me just copy the other one whereby now the i is uh, crossed so in other words we whatever is that it means is that it's not visible so let me just copy this svg so you copy this other one you can be able to put it inside here like that and we can save so if i'm to refresh now you can see that it is not visible and if i'm to type something here you can see it's not being seen but if i click on it now it's visible so you can see the icon has changed automatically thank you very much for following this video up until this point subscribe like the video and you can also share and comment thank you